Hey guys, so before we go to the track this weekend, I'm gonna put on these bars. Probably gonna bend like butter when it comes to a crash, but you know, I think they're gonna be good. Oh yeah. That is so much higher. Yeah, I'll put these on, it's pretty easy. No point showing you guys that. I'm just gonna take that off, slide these off, slide them onto this one, sit that in there, and pick it up. I think the cords are gonna be a bit tight. See how that goes. Sweet. Then hopefully the pegs come. We'll chuck those on, then we can get in some riding footage. One thing that I find the easiest to do when switching bars is loosen everything up. And then even take this light off I've found because it just gives you a better shot at these Allen keys. It's quite tight. So the next stage to get this thing track ready is definitely taking off the brake sensors. I believe behind that is the drop sensor because I don't want it cutting out of any jumps and having to pull over and turn the bike off. So I'll start by disconnecting these brakes. Might set the camera up. I'm gonna take out these. Looks like a six mil possibly. It's right there. A tiny little screw on both sides. I'll take both of those out. Then I believe we have to take this off to get to where those two wires are coming down there. We'll have to unhook that. Unhook that obviously. Pretty straightforward. And yeah, the tip over sensor I believe is behind this stuff. Probably shit our sliding in here, but so this time we're loosening that off to make life a hundred times easier. Okay, so completely fucked that, but I'm gonna get some of the MT fives anyway. And that's gonna be a lot easier to undo. So we got the seven mil. And this is probably gonna be a bit different. Surely this one goes towards the back of the bike, but back that screw off. So it's probably gonna be stripped as well, but you get that. Now I'm just gonna take this off. Nice, keep that aside. Take the one off the inside here. Now, I'm gonna pull the back brake through and the front brake. Nice. Okay, so now I think I have to take this off. They look like four mils. No, four feels pretty good. Okay, that's not very tight. Definitely gonna order a torque wrench, fellas, so I can do these videos properly. If I can find the torque for any of the bolts that we do today, I'll put them up on the screen for sure. Like I did in the last video, because once I get my torque wrench back on or a new one, I'll um, definitely be talking up the bolts to spec. But I always used to go like one, one new minute more or every time just to make sure the bugger didn't come loose on my dirt bike. There we go. Plenty of slack on that. So where are these two cables we pulled through? So, there's our two cables. Both go on this. Do we just cut these and tape them? Saves waterproofing it. Never gonna use this again. I'm sure I can be able to redo that in the future and possibly redo the end, but I'm gonna get Magurus anyway, I don't need these. I might just cut them up here and tape them off. Oh, well, not that one. That's the headlight. Definitely that one, that's one of the brakes. So I'll do that. All right, here we go. Brake cable, gone, scissors down. Don't need much for little wires like this. Okay, there's one taped. And I'll tape this one on. Okay, so at least I know that the front light comes off easy now, just that one plug there, because I was thinking about taking it off in the future. Okay, there's one sensor down. Now, that is the worst tape job ever, but I might tape them together. Okay, one. That's the front headlight there. Oh, it's that one. Okay. Cool, let's just cut that. Same spot. Three bits of tape. Tape up these wires. Perfect. Sweet. Okay, so what else do we have to do? That's the brunt brakes. 
Is there anything else on the front end? Okay, the tip is sensor. Now I might leave the top loose for that. All right, so now we're gonna take off this thing to get the trip sensor off. One. Just a thin little piece of plastic covering up that mess. Sweet, so now we have to take the actual controller bolt off. So to me that looks like a four mil, but we'll see. Yep. So we'll pull this guy to the left of the bike. Okay, this nut is fucking tight. Surely it's not reverse thread. That is fucking tight as fuck. So I'm getting a longer four mil. Couldn't get that thing off, fellas. So that Allen key, so I'm gonna try this one. Okay, that one came loose. I'm just gonna get this one loose. So it was going the right way before. That's over torqued. Hard. Nice. Sweet. Okay. Okay, so that's the top loosened. So now we'll loosen this bottom one. It's a 4mm as well. So there's a little bit of Loctite on there as well, it looks. So we'll put some on there as well. Nice, that one was nowhere near as tight, what the fuck? Wait, there's no thread locker on this side. I believe the tip over sensor is up in there. No. I don't know if you can see up in there. Behind that bracket, that bit of rubber down there, I'll zoom in on it. That's the brake set. That's the tip sensor. So, my plan is hopefully to loosen this side off. Those two bolts there look like they hold the tip sensor in, but I'm not sure. See what happens. I'm not sure what that is either. Someone can comment what that is. That'd be awesome. So hopefully this top down view isn't too shit. Okay, they're not very tight. I feel like there's more than two bolts holding this in, but... Could be nice to us, couldn't it? There's the sensor, it's loosened off. There's the cable to it. That's the trip sensor. Take that off there. Slot it in there good. Scratching my frame up here. Yeah, that's off. Okay, I need to get down and have a look underneath here. That's the bad boy in there, I can see it. Caught around a cable. Need to get the long four. So I think I finally got this thing out. It really depends on how your surround's wired, I think, but is this it? It is it. Look, but it's wrapped around that fucking wire. How how shit is that? I believe you can just unplug it and your surround should work. How painful. Okay, so that's the plug. Probably just put a dub of silicon over those terminals. Might put the battery in and see if she starts. For that, I'm gonna put the um, key start back on. Can we ride with the brakes on? Yep, front brake. Yep, nice, nice, perfect. So that's good. Turn her off. Let's put that mount back in. Just gonna add a little blob off this. Just put some silicon on that. Just gonna shove it up out of the way. Now this obviously goes tongue up. Got the four mil in our bolts. So I think the best way to do this probably is to just get it lined up before you put it in there. It's gotta go behind some cables on the left side of the bike. So I'm trying to tuck my finger in there to push the cables out of the way. And same deal on the right side. Yeah. You can see the right side. But I dropped the nut. Luckily this one's closed. So I'm just loading it on the... Uh, 
So I just loaded on the four mil. I'm going to do the right side of the bike so I can see the hole. There we go. Now the left side should be a lot easier. You've got to find that nut. Just going to tighten those up. Okay, that's tightened up. Okay, so the cable's pushed up out of the way. I'm going to get my lock tight. Just going to put a small bit. So it's a little bit on the side of this bottle. I'm only going to put a little bit because I know this lock tight's pretty strong. It's the bottom one. Okay, so we put a little bit on that. So I'm just doing these up hand tight for now, as usual. I'll grab the top two. Put a little bit on that. Nice. One. You don't want too much on there, you only need a little bit. That one felt like it was cross threading a little bit of something, so I decided to loosen the other one up, and that's a lot better. Okay, so we're gonna get the longer one. Do this up. Not gonna go crazy tight because we put the lock tight on there, so should be alright. Something like that. Okay, this is where I wish I had my. That was too tight. Tighten up this side. So we're just going to put this little cover back on with the 3 mil. Okay, we got the second one in. Good to go. Nice. Let's put this bloody cap back on. So putting this thing on, it's pretty easy. Okay, so with this thing, fellas, you just dive it, dive it into there. Push them cables aside. There we go. So shouldn't be that much force when you're pushing it down. So yeah, just slot it underneath the tank. Call it the tank, the battery cover. Just whack this other side in, and that's good to go. Then we're going to take the bike off the stand. Not really sure why I snipped those cables before, boys. Probably should have just silicon it. So these are the pads I picked up. I'm part of the Facebook group, so we're on Segway Motors. I uh, typed in brake pads, and this seemed to be the most recommended number there was HO3A and HO3C I believe so I hope they fit they look massive these fins must stick out the top that's cool might do these now I reckon for this we just need a set of pliers and a three mil I believe take this retention little spring thing off perfect we'll grab our three mil yeah pull out this puppy pull out these pads So I'm just going to try out the pliers, pull that out, shittest pads ever, pull that one out, okay, the lumbox is Shimano, so with that spring, just want to sit it under that, sit this one over it, don't touch the pad, make sure they're both sitting over the pad prime, holding them together, Left side to the outside. So you just got to make sure that retention things in properly. So I just need to lift that retentioner thing. So I'm just getting my three mil in there. I'm trying to lift it. Okay, so just lift them up and down until you slide it through. So then you just want to put your little spring thing on there. The Shimano thing in the way. We'll try our best. So this is how I recommend putting the clip on. Just like that, hold it with your pliers. Clip it over the slot and push your finger. Done, Shimano's on. We are ready for the track. Doesn't look like my foot pegs are gonna get here, but I think we are good to go. 
don't you just love coming home Friday? Do some deliveries from Santa and the boys at EBMX. Yeah, fire out. Got these this afternoon, it's Friday Arvo, going riding tomorrow morning at 6.30, so let's chuck these things on. It's pretty simple, straightforward installation. I might just do one for you guys and then do the other one off camera and chuck the grips on real quick and we are good for the track. And might have just bought a shock Fox float. 10.5 by 3.5. If you guys want to see that installed in next up and come videos, I'll probably do it before the front end if I can get the right spaces for it. Then hell yeah, let's get this. Don't put these on. Alright guys, so taking this thing off can be annoying, but it's not too bad. I like to point it the open side of this little clip towards me. And then just get a flat object and push it off. So what I'll do to get that this thing off is I just put my fingernail under the bottom bit. And push the push the top and did that just go flying? Okay, do not do that. Losing that thing is not what I want tonight. Fucking hell. Okay, so that was fucked, but you hold on to it a bit better next time. You do a lot better job than me and it won't go flying. So okay, so now you just push the pin out with your finger down the bottom here and wiggle that. Not sure if this spring will preload or not or anything. Not sweet. So take that out. So you have to make sure when you're doing this that that tab sitting on the bike side of the peg mount and this tab sitting on the far side of the. Okay, so I just had to push that down with my thumb. Now we gotta line this side up. There we go, just had to wiggle them a bit. So then we'll put the clip back on for this thing. So yeah, just start a little bit with your finger. Once you get it started, you can clip it in like that. You guys don't need to see me struggle on the other side. You can get these grips on and be ready for the track. Okay guys, so I'm going to chuck these grips on. I don't think you guys really need to watch me put them on. Alright guys, so that wraps up the video. Uh, thanks for watching again. This thing's looking sick. Can't wait to get this upgraded and these upgraded. Even though I think these might not be too bad. See how it goes tomorrow at the track. Hopefully I don't pop a tube, that's what I'm mostly scared of. Uh, cheers boys. Peace.